18 éven aluliak számára nem ajánlott. Bankroll the Nightfall program believed my comrades and I were in the bioweapons business. To them, the cryptids were the end product. But to those of us who were aware of Nightfall's true objective, the cryptids were merely the means to another end. We knew there must be other colonies, like the one we found in Colorado. We believed the cryptids could lead us to them. I never guessed the key we'd been searching for would turn out to be human. Now, I have new patrons, a ship, and a crew. Our journey is almost at an end. Dr. Cross is the beacon that lights our course. The closer we get, the brighter she shines. The investors who 500 years ago, Aztec scouts reported contact with an army of fierce, four-legged demons. The demons wore iron shoes and leather masks, and were attended by strange, pale-skinned slaves. You see, the Aztecs had never seen a horse before. They were so mesmerized by the sight of the Spanish stallions, they hardly spared a glance at the cold-eyed killers riding on their backs. The cryptids are like those Spanish stallions. Beasts of war, bred for battle, trained to obey. I studied the after-action reports from that first cryptic contact in Colorado. I sensed an intelligence beyond mere animal instinct. I saw coordination, communication, control. Something was given the cryptids commands, right up until the nuke went off and brought a mountain down. The Aztecs failed to recognize the true face of the enemy, and it cost them everything. I will make the same mistake. 500 years. In another lifetime, I saw Taliban tribesmen bring down a 30 million dollar NATO drone by overriding the GPS guide signal with a 300 dollar ham radio. If the Arcs are awakened, we'll be the ones hiding in caves. We won't stand a chance in a head-on fight, but we can take a lesson from those mountain tribesmen. Sever the enemy commanders from their cryptid warriors. Turn the dogs of war against their own masters. We've learned a great deal by watching Dr. Cross with our cryptid lab rats. The cryptid brain is designed to receive orders. All we need is a brain that can broadcast them. In the stories, Percy has cut off Medusa's head to create the ultimate weapon. Soon we'll find out if uh, that old trick still works. In another lifetime, I've been branded a traitor, a terrorist, some kind of crackpot Captain Ahab. I suppose it got it right, but uh, I'll always be one thing more than the others, and that's a soldier. And right now, every human on this planet has one thing in common. We are all at war. You see me as your enemy, but only because you are blind to the larger truth. The human race is now an endangered species. Our best chance is to join forces and strike first. I can show you where they are, and how to defeat them. Let's start by talking about what you have to offer. Then, we'll discuss what you want from me. I've been branded a traitor, a terrorist, some kind of... Let's talk about Alaska. Where were you the night of the outbreak? How many times have I told you? I don't remember. You don't remember sabotaging the hatchery failsafes? How does one forget the mass murder of 127 innocent men and women? <sighs> innocent. 
You are the guilty one, Samantha. That is a fact. The question is why. What do you want from me? The truth. The truth. The truth is, I didn't do it. They did. I'm just a tool to them, like every other living thing on this planet. Who do you mean by them? Look, you want to crawl inside my head, Doc? Someone be here to it. Let's talk. You claim you were acting under a kind of, uh, hypnosis, caused by this obelisk that Mr. Archer brought back from Colorado. By the time I finished translating the inscription, it was already too late. How's that? Do you know what a mimetic virus is? It's a kind of behavioral program, imprinted directly onto a person's subconscious, using a coded sequence of words and images. Well, in theory. <laughs> theory. Right. We both know where this is headed, Doc. And you're afraid, because you don't know which side I'm playing for. I assume you're on the side of the human species. I guess we'll find out. Won't we? How did you become aware that you possessed these, uh, psychokinetic abilities? They've been teaching me. Showing me what I'm capable of. Things you can't imagine. Like telepathic communication. <laughs> it's not witchcraft, Doctor. Their language is a kind of algorithmic code. Like software that runs on neurons instead of microchips. That's why the cryptids will not harm you. They've been bred to obey these uh, uh, commands. Well, that's the funny thing, Doc. The brain of a cryptid is not so different from the brain of a human when you get down to it. We both know that I'm getting stronger every day. How much time do you think you have before you're on your knees begging me? to let you die. How did you become aware? How is your patient holding up, Doctor? At these power levels, the feedback from the neural amp should be enough to liquefy her central nervous system. She should be dead by now. Is there a problem, Doctor? Cross is no longer human. You need to stop this before we lose control of the situation. Did you just give me an order? The nightmares are getting worse. Most of the crew hasn't slept in days. We're on the verge of a mutiny. Go on, Doctor. You've seen how the cryptids respond to her. She's becoming more dangerous every day. If you won't put her down, I will. You saw what I did last time someone tried that. If anything should happen to Cross before we've located the Ark, you'll be the next man I feed to the cryptids. I was... I'm sorry to bother you, Sam uh, Dr. Cross. I've just a few more questions. Mm -hmm. Is it safe to assume the race that constructed the Arcs is now extinct? <laughs> Believe me, Doc. It is anything but safe. I see. And how many more Arcs are out there? Uh, worldwide? Mm, hard to say. It was all done in secrecy. They were afraid someone might try to attack them in their sleep. So they created a guardian to deal with any potential threat. I let it know we were coming. Hope you don't mind. Please, please, Samantha. Don't do this. I, I can't help you. You've done too much already, Doc. I don't know how to repay you. Help! But I've got a few ideas. Strike one to Godfather, assault forces, Oscar Mike. Sir, White House calling on secure line. Stand by. Mr. President, I wasn't expecting your what call. What the hell do you think you're doing, General? Fighting a war, sir. We've been hit twice on our own soil. Now we're taking the fight to the enemy. My sources have located a second cryptid colony, twice the size of Colorado. Your source is a deranged terrorist. You were supposed to kill Archer, not recruit him. Archer is a necessary evil. He's the only man alive who's been this close to them. Them? You mean these 
cryptid animals. It isn't the cryptids that give me nightmares, sir. We found them. What on earth? It's the man. 